Hello and welcome back to part 2 of Soul Calibur 5 Hex Editing. Um, today I'm planning to cover character posi positioning codes. Basically, when you mod a character's fighter style, it won't go into that specific character slot. Say you have an Ezio with a Tira style, it wouldn't be in a Tira slot, it would still, still say an Ezio slot. But if you wanted to change it into that other selection, as in have it in the Tira Ed slot, we can change that. And also, I believe we're doing this. We've put it into a nightmare slot. They have like the glowing eye trails or the purple eyes. That'd be like a good thing to do if you want an evil-looking character. With the model codes, not sure if you know, but they have like the Soul Calibur Four models, like the Soul Calibur Four Nightmare, Siegfried, and Inferno. And basically, you change characters into those, or just generally mess around with them into different characters for some reason. Um, also, including trying to include physique changes. As in, change how your character looks. With regular characters, you can't change their stature or anything like that. Like the preset models, so you can have like Fire is always tiny. You can always make it bigger, like Ivy, because she's the biggest female we can get. I mix things up like that. But also including the physique. Um, with if a character has any f tattoos on, any transfer over the tattoos will be transferred over to that character as well, which is always good. And splicing, um, this is basically when you take bits of other characters and put them on the others. Um, Dragon probably explains this better, but I'll, I'll show you if we get time to do it in this video. Right, I guess I'll go into the character positioning codes now. Um, fair, I'm gonna, d yeah, let's do Nightmare, because it's easy. Yeah, I think. Right, basically, what you want to do from now on is whenever you're modeling a character, you want to start from the end of the name, click and drag all the way to the top of that character. Pass all, all these wires. I need to do it slowly now because it's still lagging. Because of the recording. Oh well, who cares? Back down. Pop. Okay, there we go. And you want to highlight to the last Y. Then you want to copy it or control C. Press control N to get a new page. And then press control v B. Not V, B. And press control S to save. And you want to name your characters something. Um ignore those. Um I was going to call it Nightmare. Or whatever. Basically, you go straight to the top of this character. And then bring up your information sheet and look for the fighter styles. Um, since Nightmare is 06, you got the 06 here and the 06 here. I'm not sure which is which, but one of these is giving you the style usage, and the other one's the, the character slot for the character style. But the best bet is just to change it to, well, change them both to the same thing you want. Say if I want to change this nightmare to <laughs> Cervantes. Um I need to go open up Cervantes. And that'll be 08, so I want to change these to 08. And press Ctrl S afterwards. Alright, whenever you copy and paste the information in and this is irrelevant now, but never press Ctrl V. All this happened, everything will just move it out of place. You want to press Ctrl B to go over the information. Like, that changes, just, that, just press Ctrl B, otherwise the whole thing will mess up. Oh, yeah, when you're doing further stuff like character splicing, never go into character customization with that character because all your mods get reverted back to how it's supposed to be. But some mod, well, some mods like voice changes and character size and weapon changes as long as the armor or anything that it's perfectly fine and then um, anyway where was I yes Cervantes um, I've changed the character slot to Cervantes um, you, you know the voices already so I won't go into that so yeah that's pretty much for it for the slot choices Next, um, what, what do I feel like doing now? Yeah, models, model changes. To get the Soul Calibur for Nightmare or Siegfried or Inferno or whatever, in, in that package you have got the 
player slots for them, which I could just open one up for you now if you want. No, that's um, never mind about that actually. Um, basically, open up your info text box. You got where is it? Um, sorry, yeah, the model codes. This is just regular nightmare, so his code will be eleven, which is that's just something else. There, that's what you want to look for. And then you want to change this. Say I want some reason I want to turn this nightmare into inferno. I change that to three F. And save it, but um, this won't ever work straight away. You have to go in custom character customization, and then do a mock battle and come out, and then it should work after that if you save it. Don't ask why it works like that. It's just it's the way I found it works. It's strange like that, but anyway, yes. That's pretty much it for that bit. It's quite simple. Yeah, the physique codes. Oh no! 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 Stop! Stop! Um, yeah, let's go over to here. I want to load up a female character because they're easy. Say I want to... Oh, by the way, in the description I'll provide a link to different sized and weight characters for, for both male and female. So you know... Yes, yeah, so it will help you, basically. Say I want to change the physique of a custom character I have. Oh, wait, wrong save. Never mind, one sec. Right, I'm back, sorry about that. Um, yes, there we are. This should be my Xiaoyu costume. That's DLC stuff, so I don't want to mess around in that, because it's fine the way it is. This is yeah, let's go with this one. Basically, I want to start from the bottom again, all the way to the top of that character. Yeah, I'm going to jump cut this bit. Yeah, I'm just going to jump cut those bits every time now because it lags a bit and it keeps on going out of place. So yeah, I copied up my character. If I press Control N and then Control B, enter. Save that. I right, always back up your save file. I should have said that last save, but. Always make a cop back up of the save before you start modding it, because if it goes corrupt, you have nothing to go back on. Same for the characters as well. Well, actually, no, you're just getting them back from the backup save, but never mind. You do what works for you. Yeah, basically, here is a character. Right, I'm back. Basically, you don't want to do this on characters what have equipment on because it makes things more difficult that way. Basically what you want to, what you do is get a no clothes character basically strip the armor everything off before you mod this. And basically I've got a normal hill day here and basically from here to here is her physique and everything. So if I just want to open a new character um not a new character but my Yeah, I need to pause this save time. Going back, but say if I wanted a, a tall female, I mean a tall Hilde, with big breasts, small breasts, whatever, you basically go into character customization and make a create a soul, I mean, a, a standard character, and um, custom what you actually want of that size. Basically, if you go to. Yeah, basically, you want to go start at the line 60 here and carry it over to this Y. Hang on a sec. And then carry it over to this dot after these three eyes. Normally, it's easier, you can have like that comma there to the Y, but sometimes it's not there, but you just want this general range here. If you basically got the same layout, you'll be fine. Basically, copy that over. And press Control B over there. So, um, it, when you save it, it, basically when you load up Hilde without going to, ca yeah, when you load up Hilde, she now be very tall for a female. And then you want to press Control A and copy and place this over the character who you wanted to mod it over. 
So about that, um, Bandicam cut me off. Basically, wrong one. And basically, go up to where we were. Up here on these wires. And you just want to press Control B over it. And then you now got the character you want with the bigger size, or the sizes that you want. And also, as I said earlier, if the character's got like the tattoos and stuff, what you want to transfer over, which I should have done in the first place. But yeah, let's go to the now. Yeah, so it seems a bit messy the way I'm doing it, but the amount of times this, my fail videos have failed, I, I just do it. Anyway, basically, this is a character with tattoos on it, hence the word tats. Basically, I just want to go from the comma to about where this Y is. Then you want to copy that over and to replace. It's basically the same process as this, but it's just, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it, but and unless this part's short, I need to save it and copy it over again to the save file. Um, yeah, I don't have time for splatting this video. But yeah, I'm going to have to cut this video short, and I hope this helped. I know this is probably a bit messy and everything, and yeah, so if you want to ask questions, I'll gladly answer them. And yeah, happy modding.